Yesterday we had a concert at the Wigmore Hall, one of my absolute favorite venues, with this stunning uh, Alina Ibrahimova. Uh, and, and we played a wide array of, of pieces from 18th century. Really virtuosic also, just very soulful music. And I loved every second of it. There was uh, this buzz in the, on, on stage, because it's one of the very rare occasions we, we get together nowadays and, and we can make music with each other and for each other. And it was, yeah, just an explosion of emotions for me because it was a real dream come true. Because um, I've been dreaming of this moment for at least five years now. This was the moment I, I, I first heard Darkangelo in 2016, exactly on the stage of Woodmore Hall. And I thought, wow, I really want to play with these guys. <laughs> that would be amazing. And yesterday it, it happened. And yeah, it was really overwhelming. So we're here in this wonderful gallery. I'm delighted to be working with Sofia and Sergio. Sofia the violinist, Prodano and Sergio the lute player or fiore player. And we're going through some music from middle 17th century, late 17th century and 18th century and seeing kinds of improvisational styles of improvising. All of the treatises of the time have two voices as if a student would play the top line and the teacher would play the bass line. So everything was done in a form of apprenticeship, in a form of uh, copying, listening. And I think those things are still done uh, elsewhere in traditional music, but not so much in classically trained musicians where we have our etudes and we are at home and practicing scales even more now than ever. I think after one year of, of lockdowns or on and off, you realize how important it is to actually share a musical experience between each other. There is something about that shield of kind of harmony and beauty and context that is so easy to just um, everyone sort of commune in and um, engage with. And it's uh, such a great outlet of um, just imagination, expression, 